There's a bone charm nearby. So where is it? So we can take him out. Um, okay, this whoop. Let's back up. I could death run above this guy and just um, put that there. That's probably going to be my best option. Come on, jump. Sure, that works. Uh oh. Could be worth looking into. You like the, the, the not so quick reactions that still kind of worked out in the end? These people's faces are crazy. I don't know if you noticed that from the past three kills. Let me move her up here. That's, that's all I wanted. Look at her. Is she becoming stone-like? Is that what these rats are talking about? Is these people are the ones kind of becoming stone? Interesting. And are they becoming? Oh, maybe this has to do with the. Um, what? I don't know what bone charm that was. I did not read it. Oh no, that's bad. Which one looks like I've never seen it before? I don't know. Actually, I'm trying to think. Greater foresight enables you to select and mark more objects with foresight. I think that that's probably what it was. Maybe. Either way. Um, I wonder if the reason they're turning to stone is because they're actually petrifying. Because if if the void is some kind of link between between time, time and space and the real world, then maybe, just maybe, I might have to look down there too. This seems empty. Good. Then maybe, just maybe, they um they are turning to, to like stone because they are petrifying because they are they're switching between timelines too too often shivering silhouette what does that mean what is this there's so many freaking things i'm getting this is crazy they're just throwing it all out there i should have a thought about that in a second where's shivering silhouette is it a normal bone charm or is it a cursed bone charm? It is not a, oh no it is. Enemies miss more often with ranged attacks and you are more visible to enemies. And there's a, doesn't really work. So I'm curious about something because they're, they're giving us so many bone charms. They're just like, here, here's all these cool things that we made. And my curiosity is, I wonder if, because this is pretty common in game design, if, um, before I read this diary, if they are doing this, if they are giving us these, are these bars like offset? See that? Oh, that's because it's not technically a bunk bed, is it? They just put two beds on top of each other. Clever. I think. Um, that's what it looks like from the bars. So, are they testing ideas for new bone charms and new play styles for a new game? Right, the, the, you know, obviously they've got to be working on something, Arcane Studios. So I wonder what it is, and if they are working on another Dishonored game, are they just throwing a ton of bone charms out there to be like, what are cool ideas that we can explore and see how the players use, and then kind of use that as research for a new game? Kind of an interesting thought. Cultist's diary. It has begun. When I woke this morning, my shoulder felt stiff and in uh, insatiate. And when I inspected it, there was a thread of pure silver stone running across my flesh. At last, I am merging with the void. Oh, to be removed from this reality and exit eternal in, in the next. To see the subtle shifts and patterns of the void, to be closed off from all contact with lesser creatures. I am eager to see it, its progress. And then, 12 days later, the stone spreads. I feel it humming with heart as it encloses my very heart heat as it encloses my very heart sometimes i am breathless with it with it i can barely listen to the others at times my tongue won't move for hours and i am mute uh, my left eye has been entirely submerged by the void i can see it's strange strange shifts in the light but it's mostly endless darkness i find it difficult to focus on my work 
My pen slips from my hand, even as I try to write these words. My fingers have grown cold and numbed to all sensation. Some have even fussed, fused together in an uh, amalgam of stone. I am exalted. See, now if you're even remotely interested in, um, in Dishonored and the story of Dishonored and everything going on in this weird, awesome world they've built, then this has to be making you very happy. Can I turn it off? I've turned it on. Interesting. I wonder what you can do with that. I wonder if you can like make a noise maker or something. Very interesting. Anything over here? Oh yes, right. This. See, that, uh, like watching that kind of stuff makes me think that the void is some kind of link of time and space or maybe two different, um, maybe it's a link of two different realities. Entry forbidden. Why? Why is entry forbidden there? I'm gonna have to go look. They seem to have quarried themselves out a little bed area. Hues of the void. I like reading all this right now because it's like giving us so much weird information. We lack the language to express the void in all its complexities. We have no words for its beauty. There is the rich, velvety darkness of the depths of the ocean, the hollow hues of the sky on a starless night. Hmm. The cold color when you close your eyes to moonlight, the molted pigments of a bruise on tender skin, the sharp black at the corners of your visions as you faint from exhaustion, a crumbled anointment of old blood own face reflected faintly in dark glass. I was ignorant of these delicate gradients, great graduations, uh, gradations, when I first arrived, but my eye of the dead god has uh, penetrated my senses. But the eye of the dead god has penetrated my senses and opened my mind. When I was once a dull gray, what was once dull gray has revealed its subtle luster. In my former life, I was a painter captured the brush of a young dipente's cheek or the turn of a noble's sharply calf hmm. i was paid vast sums of uh, uh, to render the most insipid lifeless aristotic faces into the grand examples of viral splendor virile uh, but nothing i had ever seen compares to the grace and color of the void it doesn't look like grace and color also creepy that's just a quarried eye. I'm gonna like see that. Is that what the eye is? Is that the, the crazy stuff that I'm going to? This is so cool. But so spooky. Why is this forbidden? Why is entry forbidden? Okay, I need his key. I feel like I can do that. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> there's a lot of people out here, but I feel like I can kill them all. What do we got? We got a cultist. We got another cultist. We got a third cultist. We have, holy crap, so many people. But we have this, which can easily take them all out. And by easily, I mean relatively easily. Who else do we have out here? We have three dudes down there. If I make a ton of noise, these all are going to come. Someone there? I'm going to have a look around. Nope, nobody's here. Actually, that may have been my chance. Did I just do it? Someone's moving over there. It's this guy. This guy's moving there. I can jump out here. I said I can. I can jump out here. Just trying to do this as quickly as possible before these guys show up. Okay. Whew. Just pick him up. Throw him in here with my pile of bodies. So that worked a lot better than I was anticipating. Where's this person going? They are walking back up. So if I keep these two marked. Um, then there's these people downstairs. If 
I let her walk back up, where's this guy going? He's moving out into this. Oh, okay. He's coming in here. Okay. That's, that's actually a perfect time. Maybe I'm just seeing things. You saw nothing. Hey. Oh, I killed Abraham Lincoln. Oh no. <laughs> he's dead now. Oh, the game's doing its little choppy thing like it was doing back when we were in the train area. Weird. Right, so we got him dead. And we have this one. It's crazy how well this is working right now. Nope. You saw nothing. Why is, like, the game running all slow? Oh. I see. Okay, that's bad, but I need to... Okay, you two. We need to come over here and kill him. Slice him in half. Close this door. And <laughs> this is not going well, but I haven't quick saved in a while, so we're just kind of having to deal with this. All quiet. Also, doesn't help that the game got really choppy here. There's a lot going on. <laughs> you know, not so bad so far. You know what I mean? Not so bad. Not so bad. So we have just these last two people. Three people. We have three people coming up. That's not super good, but I can make something happen. If only I just believe. I need to jump over here. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna jump down. Whoops. Okay, that didn't work. Nope. Get out of here. Okay, this is not this is not going as well as I thought it would. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> that was bad. So, when it boils down to it, I've killed everybody. But, oh, hey. <laughs> Functions and responsibilities of recent uh, initiates. So, I tried to jump down, and it just didn't want to do it properly. So I end up not drop killing, which means I get into the weird situation of the mall saved me, and I haven't saved in a while, so I just had to kill him. And we have to live with that, but that was really interesting. New initiates to our fellowship are required to perform menial tasks for the upkeep of their and senior of their and senior members' living conditions. These include, but are not limited to, a laundering, sanitation, and waste disposal, uh, meal preparation, recording, dictation, and copying notes, maintenance of technical equipment, recording, keeping, and uh, recording keeping, record keeping, there we go, and uh, uh, collation. Whatever your station was in life, you are now a custodian of the eye, a revenant of the outsider, and a member of our privileged community. Together we watch the ages pass with impunity. Together we maintain the delicate position of reality. Know that in time the void will open its truth to you and all who seek it with fervor. Interesting. We're, we are just gonna get rid of a ton of people here. Like you. You, new bone charm. Bloodthirsty. It's like the game is understanding what I need in the moment. Let's see here. Um, build up adrenaline in combat, then trigger brutal metal. Trigger brutal melee. Um. Fatalities. What is all this? Oh, those are carrots. They look like coins that I couldn't pick up. So of course I'm like, what's, what's going on here? Interesting. Why is this? I have a feeling I might need to go that way, but I haven't found this dude's key yet. I've pretty much killed everybody here. So where is this dude and his key? 
That is indeed the question. It looks like I can go this way. It looks like that's the way I need to go. And if I go over here, there's a ton of notes and I'm not quite seeing anybody. So I need to be careful. Okay. That's kind of what I'm gathering from this. I just need to be a little careful. Because I don't quite know. You know what? Let's quick save because <laughs> I haven't quick saved. I don't quite know how many people are around. I probably should have double checked before running in. What are we getting here? Not a whole lot. Some books. Whispers of the Void. Chant of the Eye. A voice for the silent, a face for the terror, a body for the darkness, a wound for the wanting, a knife for the knowing, a hold for the hollow, hollow, uh, a truth for the seeker, a charge for the warden, an eye for the eyeless. Ooh, that's really cool. I, you know what that is? That is someone had the idea <laughs> of being like an eye for the eyeless. That sounds so awesome. How do we put that into something? And then they did. And it was pretty cool. Was that power cable? Interesting. Or no, it's like tow cable? Like, I don't know. Something like that. Did I just see somebody? I don't think I did. It's just an empty spot over here. All right. You know, I feel like I could have done all of that that we just did a lot better if I actually used my minds again. Isn't it funny how I get so good with like using um, one of my really awesome little trinkets that I can use, like the mines. And I totally forget they exist, like immediately after using them. I know, it's frustrating. I could do so many cool things if I did. Oh, I could hide. Just hit so many bodies up on that little like thing. Did I, I did check down here. And there's nothing. Okay. So obviously, the back up over there, there was that other way I could go. Right? I'm curious um, a bit. If, uh, let's see where these guys are. Oh, there we go. Just falling off the edge. I'm curious if it brings me straight over to here. There's another guy. Oh, there's so many people. Oh gosh, there's so many people. I wonder if there is an upper way to go. Oh, whoa, look at that. They're like big books. Those are huge books. Oh, that's really cool. <sighs> this game is awesome. This is far more than I ever expected out of this game. I am so happy with this thing. Like, this is seriously one of the coolest Dishonored experiences. That is cool, by the way. Pick in there. This is one of the coolest Dishonored experiences that we've gotten. And it's not even like a full-on game. It's, I mean, it's, it's a standalone game, but it's not like a Dishonored 3. But I feel like it could have been, you know? They should be really proud about what they did here, because this thing is awesome. And every part of, what's with the 24? <laughs> every part of the way through here, I feel like, you know, we're getting more and more just cool stuff. And a lot of explanations of the void and stuff like that. Stuff that we've wanted to know for a while, but um, I haven't, have gotten like vague answers on. And I think that is like the coolest part about this experience is we're getting all of that. And oh geez, there's a guy there and then some. And that's, I think that's what I really enjoy. Should I actually go back down and around? Let me look. <laughs> nope, I think I should just take these guys out because going from above and then working my way downwards is probably a lot easier than working my, what the heck are those things?